This tutorial demonstrates how to locate your data as point features on a map and to update your map with any changes made to your data source. For example, here I have an Excel file with customer information. There is one record for each customer that contains fields with address and sales information. Most importantly, there is also a field containing unique IDs for each customer. This is required in order to link the data in the Excel file to a Maptitude point layer. By linking the data, you can simply choose to update your Maptitude map layer with the latest information and locations whenever you have added, deleted, or changed customer records in the linked Excel sheet. I'm going to go to Maptitude now and click the New File button to start Create a Map Wizard. I want to use the Map My Own Data option so I can go ahead and click Next to choose the file that contains my customer data. I will go ahead and click OK here, and Next here. Now I can choose how to use my data in the map. All of the locate options will create a point layer of my customers with varying levels of accuracy. I'm going to keep the first option chosen here that will automatically locate all of my records to the maximum level of accuracy possible. It will locate records to their street address when it can, and records that have no addresses, such as PO boxes, will be located at approximate locations within the respective postal codes. So now I'll click Next, and choose the Link Data to Map It option. Recall that a unique ID field is required to link the Excel data to the map features, and Maptitude has correctly noted that the Customer Number field contains those unique IDs, so I can go ahead and click Next. Maptitude prompts me for a file name for my new point layer of customers, and I'll go ahead and click Save to use the default file name. Here I'm going to choose to show the customers on the map with a theme to differentiate the customers with higher sales from those with lower sales. I'm going to choose the Size Theme option, and base the theme on the values in the Sales field. And now I'll click Finish to create the new map of my customers. Maptitude displays a report showing how many records were located and with what level of precision. And when I click OK, Maptitude displays a map of the results. I am going to make one modification to this map. At this scale, the size theme is a little too hard to read, so I'll click the Size Theme Map Wizard button and make the sizes of the low and high values a little smaller. I've run a marketing campaign to increase customers in and around the city of Worcester, here. Over the course of time, my customer Excel file now contains updated sales figures for all of my customers, some new records with customers that have been added, and some deleted records for customers who are no longer active. To update the map with all of the changes to my data source, I simply choose Map, Update Linked Records, Maptitude updates the sales data for features already in the map, removes any that have been deleted from the Excel file, and, as you can see here, adds new features on the map for new records in the Excel file. When I click OK, Maptitude updates the points on the map, and you can see that I have succeeded in getting some new customers in and around Worcester and increased the sales of some of the existing customers. And that wraps up this video on linking and updating geocoded data.